Okay, so I'm gonna buy some shit from Sagat again after he retired from Street Fighter. Gonna buy uh, some life back up here because we need that for sure. I uh, want to buy this because this, this sets you for the rest of the game and you want that. So you can know when it's worth it to risk it or not. Um, I don't think we have anything else left uh, to buy for right now. So we'll go back out here. Save our game. No. I'm gonna fucking save my pilot, Jesus. All right, so we're gonna fly the mission. Uh, Bravo Sector again. Move my mouse down here to the very bottom so I can get it exactly where I want it. And I can move up as high as I want. And I can't move to the left. That is lovely. Okay. Okay, now I should be able to move to the left and the right. Okay. Now we're in business. Fucking goddamn. And these fast little son of a bitches again. Shooting and a rootin' tootin'. A rootin' tootin' shootin'. I mean, it, you know, it's like, I mean, what do you want me to commentate on here right now? You know, it's like I can't really say or do much. It's like I'm just fucking blowing up shit. Now here's more energy, which is always nice. Always a good refuel. I just wonder where they get the ammo for these ships, you know? It's like, I mean, this fucker shot out like a million missiles by now. Just like a whole shit ton of, like, gunfire. Shot out a whole ton of, uh, pixels. <coughs> I also wonder where they get, you know, it's like, if I'm in a fucking army or something like that, you know, and they're telling me, well, sir, uh, one dude in a plane pretty much just took out, um, uh, about 350 of our most trained troops by himself, you know, uh, yeah, he, he just did that. It's like, do you really think many people would fucking still go out and battle this dude after that, really? I mean, this dude, like, single-handedly just wiped out, like, a small town's army force, and you really want to send out more people out there to get killed? Especially by like the time you've been through like, you know, six or seven levels in a game. And it's like, this is what I've always wondered too. Why is it always just one person they send out? It's like, if you've got pilots that can do this shit just by themselves, send out like five or six of them, you know? Send out like five or six pilots like that. Send out a whole fucking army of people like using these planes with these super powered weapons and shit like that, you know? And just blow everybody up, fuck it. It's like, okay, maybe they don't have the resources to build more than one, but it's like, even then, you know, send some of these guys that are like pro pilots like this out there to fucking fly your other planes. I mean, they'd probably survive for a while too. Shit. Oh man, I just ran right into that guy. That's not good. And I don't think this is, a, yeah, is it, now that's just a bunch of money. I don't know what the hell that sign's even supposed to mean, but that's what it is. It's a bunch of money. So I don't even get that, but that's, that's what it is. It looks like two people to me. So essentially in this game, your money is more realistically and accurately your score. That's basically what it is is it's basically you're fucking using your score as currency. And in case I didn't say that, and in case you haven't watched any of my shoot 'em up game series before, I do this uh, live like commentary. Like I'm not playing this and then recording it after or whatever or something like that. Like I always record when I play. The only exceptions to that are League of Legends videos because sometimes it's a lot easier to uh, record the commentary after I've played because <clears throat> it lags with fraps. Oh, shit a bitch. This guy's actually a little bit easier than the round one boss because you can kind of just sit in that little area. You know what I mean? And get fucked. Yeah, the Raptor pilot is back after raptoring. Yeah. <laughs> 